Hans Weigel's interest in pyramid building was aroused by a TV program. The method being discussed didn't satisfy him from a technical point of view and reminded him that no entirely convincing solution had been found so far. A retired design engineer himself, he spent his whole working life at Porsche solving technical problems, so he couldn't stop thinking about this one. This led to the development of his theory of how the pyramids were constructed. He called it the gravity lift technique. Hans Weigele went through the painstaking process of building a detailed model and published a book on his theory. The basic principle of the gravity lift technique is that of weight and counterweight. The lifts are located on the sloping surface, some side by side, others higher up, though not directly in line with the ones below. The assembly groups. Each lift unit consists of a sledge for transporting the stone blocks and an identically constructed sledge holding the ballast container, which is filled with ballast material such as sand or gravel. The two sledges are connected to each other by a rope fed into a deflecting unit higher up. The rope brake is also situated here and is operated manually. The rope is fixed in position with the aid of a lever thus allowing a gentle reduction of speed. The sledges are drawn over smooth sliding tracks to keep friction to a minimum. The ballast material is tipped out of the ballast container into a storage bin. Here, the workers can fill their buckets and carry them back up to refill the ballast containers above. The progress of a stone sledge. The workers load a stone block onto the sledge. In the meantime, the ballast container is being filled with stone or gravel until the ballast sledge is heavier than the sledge with the stone. This imbalance causes the stone sledge to be pulled upwards. The stone is loaded from one sledge onto the next at the loading platform. The procedure is repeated until the stone has arrived at the working level. Once it has reached its destination, the stone is unloaded by the hauling team and dragged across the unloading platform to its final position. The progress of the capstone. The capstone is transported in the same way as the other stone blocks. The sledge carrying it to the top is then moored with ropes. The support installation with the rope deflector is dismantled and the capstone is dragged off the sledge and placed in its final position. Hans Weigele has based the calculations of the theory in his book on the Cheops Pyramid. 72 sledges might have been used for the lowest level, for example. At maximum efficiency, working 7 days a week, 10 hours a day, and at a rate of 1.2 stones an hour per lift, the total construction would have taken 14.6 years. However, this calculation doesn't take into account any hold-ups that might have occurred. Hans Weigele has never actually seen the pyramids himself. If I had seen them, I'd probably have been so overawed that I wouldn't have had the courage to theorize about them. Now he hopes his gravity lift technique of pyramid construction will find scientific recognition.